Hey y'all, this is AL Thick Madame and Cinnamon Sugar, and I'm just on here to kind of vent and tell y'all about how the end of my work week has gone. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm tired. I just pulled a 12 hour shift, and I barely had any sleep because the people above me don't know how to govern their children accordingly. So, they were up doing the most all day, all night, and all of that. And I'm just like, <sighs> and the fact that my landlord will do nothing at all about them or the outlet so I wouldn't have to be out and about like I am right now, sitting in my car in the cold because I have to dry my clothes. And I can't do that at home because that outlet does not work. And it should have been rewired six months to a year ago. I already told her about it when it first started shorting out. The other people already told her about it who came and they did something where they were messing with the uh, box or whatever. And I'm just like, <sighs> anyway, so y'all tell me why today I come in and I'm like, how dare you? They done sat up here and put me in the side helper together in the most hated department. So I'm already looking like, don't nobody have time for this. Because I've been the breaker for the last two weeks upstairs, right? The most hated department has been on one. And so I'm like, nah, bruh. And so when I came in, I saw I was over there. And I saw that she still was lollygagging and doing what she wanted to do. So what I normally do is, if I know how a situation might be, <sighs> excuse me, y'all, I'm really sleepy. If I can tell how a situation might be because of prior experience, I will go on ahead and get upstairs or go on ahead and go to the new department so I can get on a side that won't give me so much grief or any issues like that. So... I got up there and went straight to the side that I knew wasn't going to give me no issues like that because, like I said, I've been breaking people out all week and that department has been trash. So, I had already gotten briefed by the guy and then she came right up behind me like less than five minutes later and she just stood over there and I was just like, girl, go somewhere. Now, the way that I've always done this is if my name is on the schedule for me to come behind somebody... And it's myself and another person that comes in behind these people. It doesn't matter what side I work on. I just have to occupy one of the spaces. And for me, I try to go where I won't have a lot of issues if I can. Sometimes I don't mind because some people, they just don't know what they're doing. And so it's just a matter of me getting over there doing what I need to do so that I can lessen the load if you will and then you know everything will go according to plan so i already knew that it was crazy or at least that's been the experience literally for the last two weeks it's just been getting progressively worse so for the first 30 minutes of the day we both over there on one side and the other side going haywire and i'm just like nah because as soon as i walked in the person that i'm supposed to come behind <laughs> essentially she going through Y'all, anyway, I ended up calling the supervisor and the supervisor came up there and she explained to me that I had to go over there to that crazy part. And I said, you know what? Okay. And I know she feels vindicated. I know the side helper feels vindicated because she likes to do the absolute least. She wants to be able to walk around and do nothing all day. So she was loving how I had to go down there and it looked like I was gonna be in for a world of problems, right? Well, when I got down there, I got settled and it actually wasn't bad. I don't know, I'm, I don't know if it was the universe, the Lord, I don't know, but that's literally the first day since I've been over there. It actually ran, excuse me y'all, it ran the way that it should have. It was operational the way it should have been very very minimal issues and it actually seemed like she had more issues going on than what I did so I was like oh that's what you get so anyway um <clears throat> but uh I'm just glad that the breaker who broke us out actually came 
he shorted me my last break because he forgot that he had to break himself out and I understand that there are times that you get overwhelmed so you know I ain't worried about it because all I really wanted to do was to use the bathroom because once my normal shift time kicks in I don't go to break until three hours after I get there so I just wanted to go to the bathroom that's all I really wanted to do so I went to the bathroom did my little woo saws and then went on back upstairs y'all so then um when it was time for me to be back upstairs for the last part of the day outside of those four hours that were added on where it was just a normal shift amount of time I was over there with my partner and two other people one person had to stay over and one person had to come in early because what we're doing it requires three people and I'm like but still for the longest, y'all always had just two of us over there since I first started. But okay, it is what it is. Now, I was lucky enough to... I chose... Excuse me. I chose the side that actually had the least going on. But I actually chose that side because the most normally go on. So I was like, oh, well, I'm just going to take on that burden. I don't want the person who got to stay over and come here early to have to deal with this. Because normally that side sets it off. You're busy the entire time, whatever, whatever. Y'all, I was sitting down. I barely had anything going on. I was helping them do other things. Like, I'm like, see, this is what they get. Every time y'all throw me in there on days I ain't supposed to be there, 99% of the time I end up having an amazing day at you, and I don't get the, the mule worked out of me. But I still don't want to be there. Yes, I'm going to accept the check. Speaking of, y'all, I need to figure out... Okay, so I have two of my birthday gifts. Um, they are being held at an access point. And I'm going to go over there in the next 25 minutes. Because since it's Sunday, they open later. They normally open at 8. But I think they open at 9 on Sundays, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to go over there. But i got to see if my other packages there so i order things i order certain things from certain places right and listen i was just trying to re-up on certain things i was trying to get certain that's all i'm gonna say is certain things and i was just like you know i'm gonna go ahead and order them now so they'll be here before my birthday so it's saying that they were delivered to my mailbox and in my mailbox and all this other stuff on the 18th Today's the 21st or the 22nd, right? Oh, okay. Um, nothing was there. I've gotten other packages. I've gotten other mail. That is not there. And it's actually um, not necessarily a big package, but it's filled with a lot of things that I wanted, right? So I'm like, well, I was going to go off and just message them and be like, yeah, y'all need to refund me. Nothing has been delivered because I just opened, I just so happened to open an email because the email was talking about how they were going to deem it as delivered, confirmed as delivered within the next three days. And I'm like, uh, excuse me, I ain't got nothing. Because if I did, <laughs> y'all would see some of the stuff now, despite it being, you know, some stuff I'm getting for my birthday. So no, nah, I'm just like, nah, bro. So I, at first I was going to set it off. Then I was like, nope, let me just wait when I go pick up my um, package today when they open I'm going to ask them if they have additional things and if they say they don't one of two things have happened one of two things have happened the first thing is that the, the people said that it got delivered and they didn't deliver it to me or that raggedy heifer stole my package now the items that are in there, <laughs> they don't apply to her. It's a whole lot of black power and black empowerment and Africa and all kinds of stuff like that going all up and through that particular package. And she's white. I don't think any of her children are mixed. And they will be too mature the items would be very, very mature for children, even if she did have mixed children. So yeah, I'm just like, okay, did she steal my stuff and now she gonna sell it on the marketplace or something? Like what is really going on? Because most of the time I'm awake and at home when packages are delivered to me. So I'm like, nah, bro. And I mean, I have not been sleeping 
very much. So I'm pretty sure I was awake that day. Nothing has happened. I received all of my other packages that I have been expecting. And I kept looking for that one, but I'm like, okay, I don't see no shipping. I don't see no shipping, no uh, tracking. And then all of a sudden, I get an email talking about, oh, well, we're going to confirm that you have had this delivered to you. No, no, no. Don't tell me there's something in my mailbox and it ain't there. I just went in my mailbox before I left home. That was 12, 13 hours ago. So, and you said it was there on the 18th. Today is definitely not the 18th. It was the 21st when I left the house. So, yeah. Anyway. um, So, I'm going to check into that. I'm going to hope that some kind of way it was up there versus supposedly in my mailbox and at my mailbox because nothing's there nothing's outside the doors and I'm just like I don't play that because and then I've been working all week so even if I was asleep I slept for an hour or two and then went out and left to go to work so I'm always at the house when I'm not at work I'm always at the house during the hours when they deliver packages so I'm just like nah I ain't got time for it so hopefully it's up there because it's definitely not in my mailbox and it's not under my mailbox and it was not at my door and it wasn't at the door to the building why are you doing this how do people do English stuff get your behind away from here did all that to, to, to break your neck to look up in here get I swear if y'all would have saw how this person just did the most like I just can't anyway so um so yeah, I'm I'm very upset because in all honesty, I part of me is like I knew this was gonna happen because they've done this before. I've had a package before and they tried to tell me, oh well, it was delivered. I'm like, no, it was like part of the package never came to me. And I'm like, I have no reason to lie. I have a track record. I have purchased things from y'all before. I'm not just saying this to get a refund back. Like, I'm getting money. All this overtime I'm working, child. I can't wait to show y'all what I'm buying um, Wednesday. Hopefully, it will be prepared um, long before my birthday so that I can at least show y'all because I don't know if I'm going to wear it on my birthday or what. I doubt it. I doubt I'm going to wear them on my birthday, either one of them. I might need to look into some other designs. I don't know. But anyway, but I doubt that I will even be wearing them. So, I might have to show y'all um, at some point in time when I do a little birthday vlog or some sort of um, but yeah, y'all, I will keep y'all posted on all of the things that I have purchased for my birthday because I, I do tend to spoil myself as I already put on the community post. I spoil myself, or at least I try to spoil myself or I buy things that I need, um, leading up to my birthday. So this is going to be one of the years where I really have set it off for myself. I can't wait. To, I really cannot wait for y'all to see what I'm about to go get right now that I know is at the access point for me to pick up like i'm so happy like i'm so happy like it's paid in full all of that so once y'all learn what the prices are y'all gonna be like wait a minute baby you done went off i'm just saying like i done, I done did these all this working i done did i done done all this good old work i'm going to spoil myself and it's something that hopefully it will last forever I do plan on adding one one more that's that size and I want a smaller one and I and they need to add something to it and I'm gonna tell y'all about it because I'm gonna have to do a black owned business spotlight on I'm gonna have to like I would be it, it would be remiss if I if I didn't do that I have to when it comes to this oh my gosh y'all it's raining everybody tell me oh it's gonna snow I'm like but it's not though it's gonna rain it's just really cold like that's really all that's going on here I don't believe it's going to snow it's raining right now um <clears throat> sprinkling actually but um yeah y'all um I got to work with my partner today and so that went great <sighs> his cousin the dusty heifer she was across the way and it is like she acts as if she can't do nothing unless her cousin is somewhere near her so she got to walk away from her area that she's supposed to be paying attention to to go and stand up in her cousin's face i just be like girl he don't be wanting to talk to you and that's why he be making me laugh when he be like man what she want because she really will see us in the middle of a conversation and then she'll just start calling his name and i'm just like girl you see us talking 
And you know I'm not gonna be like, hey, your cousin wants you. I'm not gonna do none of that. Like, for what? So we had a good day. Y'all, okay, wait a minute. Tell me why. <laughs> when the shenanigans were going on um, upstairs when I first got there, um, because I would not go down there initially, the uh, most was going on over there, right? I already told y'all it was a very problematic situation. Tell me why the, I guess, divorced man or whatever came up there. He kept looking down at us, and, it, and, and it's like, you're not talking to me. You definitely ain't talking to the side helper. So all he could do was look down there and just be mad. And I'm like, oh, well, you, you figure it out. Because <laughs> I ain't moving. Like, I really set up stuff. I'm mad because I set stuff up. You know what I'm saying? I really was setting stuff up. Like, I, I don't play that. When I come in, I try to set myself up for success so i ain't gotta sit up there and be behind and all that so i was like you know what it's all right it's all right it's all right so yeah um what else so i don't know if i'm gonna be meeting up with my friend today i have to wait and see what she got going on because her schedule changes like every couple of months and we were supposed to meet last weekend but her boyfriend came into town and so I messaged her earlier and I asked her, are we going to meet up later on today? So I'm waiting on her to respond. Um, and if she says no, then that's going to let me know that more than likely she has to go in um, sooner than later. So that means she's going to need to be asleep around noon, I guess. I don't know. So I'm not going to hold my breath. What I am going to do is continue to wait on my clothes to get dry. And I'm about to go right on over there to the access point to get my stuff. And um, I need some hairpins. I don't understand what happens to hairpins when it comes to me. I'll buy the like 250 count, like little mini bucket of the things. They all gone. I literally had less than 10 hairpins. I'm like, I could have sworn I just bought a thing of hairpins. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I need some more. But I didn't want to stop. I didn't want to stop at Walmart or nowhere when I was on my way here. So I was just like, man, forget all that. I ain't doing it. The other place that I might get some from, they don't open until 10. And I'm like, I'm hungry. So I might actually go and get a sandwich later once these, this place opens up and eat a couple of those pickled um, okra with it. I don't know yet, though. They know how I feel, but um, I'm definitely not trying to eat good. I'm not trying to be good today. So, I mean, I don't know. I be in my feelings sometimes. So, I'm just like, I'm eating my feelings. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I'm leaving something out. And I would... Oh, so my friend's... Um, my friend's child's birthday was this weekend right and so um well it was yesterday obviously so he was talking to me he said some a couple of days ago and so um they seemed like they were like stressing out about certain purchases and so i think he jokingly asked me to pay for something and i was like okay how much is it and so he told me and so i paid for it and so he was on the phone with me the entire time and then the baby mama was right there and so he was telling her that i'm gonna pay for it i'm about to cash out him and all this other stuff and so she ended up messaging me and thanking me um last night she thanked me for um taking that bill off her hands i could tell like i could hear the stress in her voice even though their children are very young, I'm, I'm just like, ooh, don't be stressed like that. Like, you could really hear the stress in her voice. So, um, like, when he and I were on the phone. So, she messaged me. She reached out to me and messaged me because, you know, obviously, because my name is what it is, and he and I are friends on social media, she ended up being able to just pinpoint, oh, that's her, and, you know, she reached out to me via messenger. And she thanked me. And she was like, I just want to say thank you again. Da, 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 da. And I was like, oh, you're welcome. And so she ended up sending me like a whole bunch of pictures from the um, party and all of that. And she sent me a friend request. Part of me was like, should I actually <laughs> accept the friend request? And I be, I'm weird about friend requests anyway. Like I'm very weird. Like I have four or five 
um, that I've had in queue, if you will, for quite some time, and the others have been deleted and all that good stuff. Well, I'm weird about that, especially, oh my gosh, especially on IG. Man, it's so many people, man, mm -mm, not doing it. But anyway, y'all, um, oh, so remember when I told y'all a good little while ago that the side heifer said some sideways to this woman that works there who just so happens to be a minister's wife well one of the new people the new guy who got into it with the side heifer and got into it with her on several occasions and I guess he did something else um, yesterday leading into today and so she came and told me out of her own mouth after the fact when I say after the fact I mean somebody told me this information and then she came up to me and then told me what happened and added some more stuff on that I didn't know about so she ended up coming up to me and she was like you know this guy I don't know what's wrong with him but he is crazy he said I did this that and the other the other day he got upset with me because of the break that I was giving him see he's very particular about his break time and I'm just like I've been waiting to see if he's going to try to test my gangster, but he hasn't. I feel like he, he, he like, lived for me. And I just be like, why, why y'all be living for me? For what? Because, like, he'll come back from break, and he'll thank me. And I'm like, you got to do that. That's my literal job or whatever. Like, like he'll smile and everything. I'll just be like, okay. So then, y'all, I'm obviously not the breaker today, right? So he's going to roll up on me, and he was like, hey, um, are you the breaker today? I was like, no, I'm not. He was like, oh, okay. I, you know, I told him who I thought was the breaker. And I was just saying to myself, you've seen me over the last couple of hours over here. That other guy, I'm pretty sure I just saw him break you out at least once um, on the normal shift time for me. So why are you doing the most and trying to act like you don't know that I'm not the breaker? Because I'd have been the breaker for the last two weeks. That don't mean nothing. But that's the thing. He's only experienced me being the breaker like two days. Um, I think because of where he was or something. That's the only reason why I never had to break him out until like the last two days before um, today. So, yeah. Um, and then it's like because of his schedule. He's a weekend person. So, I think he was somewhere else. And then, excuse me, y'all. I told y'all I'm sleepy. I'm so sorry. And then, it's just, he just was not there. I think one day, last week he wasn't there or something like that. And this week he was there, but it was only for two days. Because I think his third day that he works is my day off. And I got my days off last week. This week, y'all see I didn't get them because I had to be up in there. Y'all, I'm so sick and tired. Okay, I was wondering what was going on with that because there's somebody who's above me on the rotation list. But the thing is, they knew that something was going to happen. And I think the person who did the schedule knew I would rather come in early and then leave on time than to stay over. So that's the why, and that's the reason why she did the schedule like that. Cause I really cannot stand staying over. Like they be doing the most on that shift, like the absolute most. So yeah, um, I'm thankful that she did that. I meant to ask her about it, um, if she was there today. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna go run these errands and then I'm gonna go watch Yellowstone and all kinds of other things. I hope y'all are having an amazing weekend. I'll see y'all later. Bye.